Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. I'm here up in uh, North Scotland again, visiting my parents, and as you can see, it's been a very hard frost last night. According to the Met Office, it was, it was down to minus eight, so a good hard frost. You can see here on the planks of wood, it's probably about a centimetre thick, so there's this huge amount of frost. I'll also show you the soil over here, which is completely solid. But, um, you can see there, it's like a rock. So it's probably frozen about an inch or two because they've had a few days of hard frost. But this is a good uh, good time to check the poly tunnel, see how it's been coping. So that's the view of the outside of the poly tunnel. You can see there's lots of frost on the skin of the poly tunnel. Quite thick frost as well. Um, not only frost where the metal poles are because they've obviously had a bit more warmth. Just a very light frost on them. But um, very hard frost all the same. So go inside now and let you see. So as you stand inside, there is a slight noticeable difference in temperature, but I wouldn't say it's a lot. And it did go slightly below freezing in here, but, the, but with minus eight outside, I'm actually quite happy with a slight frost because that's a probably about seven degree difference it's had in here, which is pretty impressive, I think. So as you can see, there's no signs of frost. It's, it's not white or anything like that. There is a little bit of ice here and there, but, but really not much. I'll just get a trowel and then you can see how the soil looks. It's actually come off quite well, hasn't frozen. So go over here. You can see it's nice and soft. You can see a few ice crystals in the top of it, but generally I mean, you can move it with your hands. It's quite quite soft. That's the dry soil, but even the wet soil here is very loose. And there's only a very minor frost on the very surface of it. So it probably only got down to minus one at the, at the lowest. And you can see our slug traps here. Must have been out all night. They've not frozen there. They're still liquid. So as I say, it's worked quite well, the, the heating system um, at this time. Unfortunately, the outflow is not strong enough. And the, um, the fan really needs to be blowing stronger. I'll, I'll probably have to get an upgrade on the fan. At the moment, it's just a small extractor fan. I can show you the outlet temperature as well. I'm pretty sure it's going to be close to freezing at the moment because um, it hasn't been very warm recently. Oh, actually, no, it's quite, quite good, actually, about five degrees there. So that's actually quite impressive. Five degrees on the outlet temperature. So there's still a half decent amount of heat stored in the, um, in the tank and underground, which is, which is good. I checked it um, earlier when it was really cold and it was closer to two or three degrees, but Obviously it must have warmed up a little bit since the minus eight and it's now five degrees on the outlet. So it's probably just above freezing now inside the poly tunnel, but you can see up here it's all ice on the inside of the plastic. As I say, the only ice is on the, uh, is on the plastic. The rest of the poly tunnel is, is frost free and has worked well. I don't actually have a working thermometer in this poly tunnel because the one I do have is for baths and the bath temperature doesn't go below 10 degrees on this scale. But you can see it's uh, it's a good bit down below the minimum, so it's probably about plus one or something like that. Anyway, that's it for now. My um, thermal store heating system, as I'm saying, I'm quite happy. Even if the uh, the flow coming out isn't enough for warming up that much, I think over the summer we've warmed up the soil so much with all the warm air blowing under the underground that the ground here is really quite warm, and it's managed to hold a lot of the heat. And with the slight insulation from the polytunnel and even some of the frost on the, on the plastic of the polytunnel will be causing a little bit of insulation as well it's actually been good enough to to insulate it so as i say there's been a touch of frost you can see the the peppers down there have been killed off unfortunately if i had put a cloth on them they probably would have survived but um, the frost has got them the stems might be okay but certainly all the leaves have died same with the aubergines which are down here um you can see the the old sweet corn here. Their roots are actually not damaged by the frost, but they're, I mean, they're dead, we've cut them down, they've had the harvest. And we've also got some orange trees here. They've lost a few leaves, but the, um, the frost hasn't killed them, which is good. So orange trees are fine. And even the sweet peas, they're still alive. I mean, they, they look a bit dead, but they're not. The reason that they're looking so unhappy is they've got a touch of powdery mildew and also it's um, 
it's towards the end of the year. These have been growing probably since March. So they've really outgrown their life. I mean, they are annual sweet peas, so they shouldn't have really lasted this long. And it is now December. So um, it's quite impressive that it's lasted as long as it has. But they'll probably be cut down. We can replant the sweet peas next year. So that's it for the pie tunnel, I think. Um, hopefully one day I'll get an upgrade on the system, get a more powerful fan, get more air blown into the system. But um, that's it for now, and as I say, it's worked quite well. Minus eight frost, and um, the coldest it's probably gotten here was only about minus one.